the Ethereum Foundation, founded in 2014, was instrumental in the development of the Ethereum platform. The development team included Violet Burin, Gavin Wood, Giles Hoskinson, Anthony Diorio, and Joseph Lubin, among others. Their vision was to create a platform that could support not just a digital currency but also a variety of decentralized applications. Ethereum's history has been marked by significant upgrades and changes. One of the most notable was the shift from a proof-of-work PoW to a proof-of-stake POS consensus mechanism. This transition, known as the merge, was a game-changer for Ethereum, making it more energy-efficient and scalable. The idea behind Ethereum extends beyond just a cryptocurrency or a platform for DApps. It represents a vision for a decentralized internet, where power is distributed among users rather than concentrated in the hands of a few large corporations. Ethereum's blockchain technology allows for the creation of trustless applications, where parties can interact without the need for intermediaries, and transactions are transparent and secure. Ethereum is built on a decentralized network of nodes that collectively maintain the blockchain. Each node in the network runs the Ethereum software and stores a copy of the entire blockchain. Transactions are broadcast to the network and verified by the nodes. Once a transaction is verified, it is added to a block and added to the blockchain. The security of Ethereum is maintained through a consensus mechanism called Proof of Stake POS. In POS validators are chosen to create new blocks based on the amount of cryptocurrency they hold and are willing to stake as collateral. If a validator acts dishonestly, their stake can be slashed as a penalty. Ethereum is also in the process of transitioning to a new version called Ethereum 2.0, which will introduce several improvements to the network. These include a shift from proof-of-work PoW to proof-of-stake POS for consensus, the introduction of short chains to increase scalability, and the use of Ewasm Ethereum flavored WebAssembly for smart contract execution. In summary, Ethereum is a powerful platform for building decentralized applications and smart contracts. Its importance lies in its ability to enable a wide range of applications and its role as a foundation for other blockchain projects. Its inner workings are based on a decentralized network of nodes and a consensus mechanism that ensures security and reliability. Ethereum's virtual machine ever. The Ethereum Virtual Machine is a runtime environment for smart contracts in Ethereum. It's designed to be Turing complete, meaning it can perform any computation given enough resources. The Everm is isolated, meaning that code running inside the Everm has no access to network, file system, or other processes. Gas and fee market. Gas is a unit of account within the Everm used in the calculation of a transaction fee, which is the amount of effort transaction a sender must pay to the network to add a transaction included in the blockchain. The gas limit is the maximum amount of gas the sender is willing to use in the transaction, and the gas price is the amount of effort the sender wishes to pay to the network per unit of gas used. Ethereum's account model, Ethereum has two types of accounts, externally owned accounts here, and contract accounts, you are controlled by private keys and have no associated code. Contract accounts, on the other hand, are controlled by their contract code and have an associated code. Ethereum's consensus mechanism, Ethereum is transitioning from a proof-of-work PoW consensus mechanism to a proof-of-stake POS mechanism with the Ethereum 2.0 upgrade. In POS validators are chosen to create new blocks based on the amount of cryptocurrency they hold and are willing to stake as collateral. If a validator acts dishonestly, their stake can be slashed as a penalty. Smart contracts. Ethereum smart contracts are written in a Turing complete programming language called Solidity. Smart contracts are self-executing contracts with the terms of the agreement directly written in the lines of code. They run on the Ethereum and are stored on the Ethereum blockchain. Ethereum improvement proposals are upper design documents for introducing new features or information to the Ethereum platform. They are the primary mechanism for proposing new features, collecting community input on an issue, and documenting the design decisions that have gone in Ethereum. Ethereum 2.0 Ethereum 2.0, also known as F4 Serenity, is a major upgrade to the Ethereum network that aims to improve the network scalability, security, and sustainability. It has been rolled out in several phases, with the first phase called the beacon chain, already live. Sharding Sharding is a technique that Ethereum 2.0 will use to increase the network's capacity. It involves breaking the network into smaller pieces, or shards, they can process transactions and smart contracts in parallel. Rollups. Rollups are a layer to scaling solution that allows for off-chain computation of transactions. The results of these transactions are then posted to the main Ethereum chain, reducing the load on the network. 
Ethereum, named Service Ends. Ends is a distributed, open, and extensible naming system based on the Ethereum blockchain. It allows users to register human readable domain names and use them to receive and send cryptocurrency. These concepts are at the heart of Ethereum's technical architecture and are crucial to understanding how the platform works and its future development. The future of Ethereum is intertwined with the broader development of artificial general intelligence hockey. As Ethereum's capabilities expand, it could provide a robust infrastructure for Oggy systems to operate within. This could include managing the computational resources required by Oggy systems, facilitating secure and transparent data sharing among Oggy entities, and even hosting the minds of Oggy systems themselves. Imagine a world where Ethereum's smart contracts are not just used for financial transactions or to manage digital assets, but also to create, manage, and govern Oggy systems. These smart contracts could define the rules of interaction between different Oggy systems, ensure their compliance with ethical and legal norms, and even manage their access to resources. In this future, Ethereum could become a key player in the development and regulation of Oggy. It could provide a platform for Oggy systems to learn from each other, share resources, and collaborate on complex tasks. It could also enable the creation of decentralized marketplaces, where individuals, and organizations combine and sell our services. Furthermore, the integration of Oggy with Ethereum could lead to the development of new types of i-driven services. For example, I could be used to optimize the energy consumption of Ethereum's network, predict market trends for cryptocurrencies, or even help in the design of new Ethereum protocols. However, this future is not without its challenges. The development of Oggy is a complex and ethically fraught endeavor. The integration of Oggy with Ethereum will require careful consideration of the potential risks and benefits and the development of robust safeguards to ensure that Oggy systems operate in a safe and ethical manner. In conclusion, the future of Ethereum and Oggy are deeply interconnected. As both fields continue to evolve, they could mutually enhance each other, leading to a future where Ethereum provides the infrastructure for Oggy systems and Oggy enhances the capabilities of Ethereum. This future, while still speculative, offers a glimpse into the potential of these to transformative technologies, and that concludes our deep dive in Ethereum, its history, its technology, and its potential future. From its humble beginnings to its current state as a leading platform for decentralized applications and smart contracts, Ethereum has come a long way. Ethereum's potential extends far beyond the realm of cryptocurrency, with its ability to execute smart contracts. It could revolutionize industries from finance to gaming. Its on their transition to Ethereum to point zero promises to address its current limitations, such as high transaction fees and slow transaction times, and to continue to innovate and adapt to changing needs. 